Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul and this is Tech and Travel. So a month ago I'd done a video for you guys where I'd done some uh, screen burn tests on the TV to highlight any potential screen burn that had set in over the weeks that I'd owned the TV for. And I promise you guys what I would do is every month I would do an update of that video where I'd run the same tests again to see if there's been any change, and if there has been, how bad is it? Um, also, one of the other tests I was running was a vertical banding test, again, to see if there's been any improvements or if it's got any worse. Um, so today, I'm here to do the follow-up video for you guys. Um, but first off, I just want to say a big thanks to all my usual subscribers for sticking with me, and a big warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, we've hit uh, 1,200 now, so yeah, the channel is growing day on day. And thanks very much for all your kind words in the comments section for me at the 1,000 subscriber mark. Really appreciate it. And also just want to say a big thanks to uh, Heath, who is one of the subscribers. Uh, just want to say thanks for the uh, email that you sent me with the videos of your uh, setup. Really appreciate that. So anyway, um, enough about me talking, um, let's crack on with this video. Okie dokie. So for anyone who doesn't know, uh, the TV is a LG B8 and it is the 65 inch version. I have owned the TV for approximately 100 days and previously um, we clocked up to around 900 hours of use. And now I've guesstimated um, that we have clocked up 1,250 hours. Um, so slightly less than um, each month before, but still you know, quite a fair amount of uh, hours used. Um, usage, um, again for anyone who doesn't know, um, mainly it seems to be kids' programmes because... Um, my partner puts it on for me daughter in the daytime. So we watch, uh, or she watches a lot of CBeebies. So up in this top left-hand corner, there is normally a rotating yellow CBeebies logo. Um, and they watch another kid's program. And that normally has a static one in that corner, but they don't watch it that often with that static one. Um, I've been watching quite a few more films recently, and so that's black bars top and bottom generally, and my son has played more games. Um, I think one of, one session he played on there for approximately eight hours, and that was playing a mixture of um, a game called Hello Neighbor and Grand Theft Auto and Minecraft, if I remember rightly. So that's um, the usage. What I would do now, I will show you the settings on the TV. So if you don't know, get the remote and menu button, or settings button, should I say, hold down and press on that, and it will bring it up. And we go to, just go to general first, and then scroll down to, well, where are we? about this TV, there we go. And there is the soft, software version that, you can see it's on the latest one. Then we go to the picture settings and that is what I'm using. So OLED light at 90, which is quite bright, but that's why I like it. Contrast 95, brightness 95, um, sharpness 25 these are the ones the settings for the um built-in youtube app um i have them slightly different for normal tv viewing but you know like i said quite a few kids programs are watched on there and uh some of those are on youtube as well also someone pointed out last time that you can um, get up the hours used on the tv or watched um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, my B8 doesn't do that. It seems to be it's available on the C8 versions. Why it's not available on this, I've got no idea. 
So let's uh, fire up the uh, first test. So I'll come out of this and go to search. And where are I? There we go. And before I start this off, I'll just quickly show you guys the date just as pr proof. Uh, there we go, Monday the 29th of April. Okay, so uh, let's search for the first test, which is a uh, OLED screen test there. Same as last time, fire it up. And a bit of a halo there from the boxes. Um, but that's perfectly normal, that fades after a second or so. You have to excuse the camera if it uh, f keeps focusing in and out. Uh, so I'm using my phone. What I'll do, I'll let this rotate through. And what I will do, I will, when I play it back the second time, I will stop on each co uh, colour and go into more detail on the screen so you guys can have a more detailed look. So far, looks uh, pretty good. So I will just pause it there on what looks like to me a pretty white screen coming across slightly different on the camera um, but that's like I say I think that's just the camera itself um, all looks good to me I can't see nothing there whatsoever nope so I will now Continue on with the video. And I've got it on a blue one there. Again, looking up in the corners um, because that's where sort of your main static logos generally seem to sit. And again, from what I can see with my eyes, it looks perfectly clear and move on to the next one again there we go got a nice green there again look along the top looks absolutely fine a bit of muck on the screen there that's not pixels out or anything though Um, and that all looks good. Now we go to a red. Again. From what I can see, we did a focus an issue there. Again, the screen sort of flashing a bit here. That's just the camera. But all looks mint. Hope that's come across uh, good at home there. So what I'll do now is move on to a grayscale. And I'll start for the 5% grayscale. And you can see some vertical band in there. Um, like I said before, it doesn't really show up when I'm watching the TV. Um, I don't notice it, to be honest. It does seem to have changed over time, but I think this is because I have done a refresh 
so that's probably had an effect on it. And finally, we'll move on to the 15% grayscale, which is right there. Now let's focus, right there we go. Again, all oh, looks pretty good to me. Just come across the bottom. Oh. Bit focusing issue. There we go. So yeah, so far it's uh, looking good, I'd say. And there you have it, then, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that video, and if you found it useful, um, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and uh, maybe a subscription if you'd like to see more of the future, and you know you'd like to uh, follow the uh, progression of these tests. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Um, I try and read every single one of your comments and I try and get back to any questions that you have. Apologise if I have missed any of you guys out uh, previously. I do get quite a few comments and that, so the one or two might have slipped through the net. Um, and if I ain't got back to you, give me a nudge, you know, and I'm sure I'll be able to sort you out. So yeah, any questions, feel free to ask. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.